I want to talk about <clears throat> all the people who work their jobs for their kids. And I just want to say that, like, you know, I'm not saying that always working for, uh, there might be some people who like working a job. There might be some people for who it's, you know, it's just exactly what they want in life. And that's great. I, have, I really have no objection to that at all. The problem is for those who don't fit that mold and they do have a really serious life-threatening problem or or to people who like really have philosophically radical ideas who, you know, just like ideas like Quakers, non-violence, etc. you know, they just happen to be, you know, against the crux of certain things in society, but they have nowhere else to go and they're not harming it. And they're trying to contribute to it. So I'm trying to say that if you're going to say that you can't stop working because of your kids, then what do you say to all the soldiers who have families who are fighting in Afghanistan? Or anywhere else they're fighting? I guess they can't go out and risk their lives because they have kids. Or what about all the police officers who are out there, you know, risking their lives on the streets, they say. And, you know, what are they doing? I mean, we're, they're risking their lives. They have families. Many of them have families. I guess they can't do that. I guess they can't carry a gun because they have kids. Or wait, you could say, no, well, most soldiers don't have families. That's right, because most soldiers are kids. So what I'm trying to say is, is that this idea that, you know, I have to work this job that I hate with every fiber of my being that makes me go against my moral compass. I have to work it for my kids. It's just the biggest bull hooey that you guys could ever imagine. If you love your kids, stand for something you would be proud for them to stand for. Create a better world for them. Don't just be a slave. Don't just be afraid. 